Hello everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm showing you a run through of a grade five and six Chinese New Year lesson, which is designed to get the students to speak. So this lesson, this PowerPoint has a lot of links to go back and forth between different slides. Um, it's really designed just kind of in a different way. I have made lessons like this before where you, know, you can jump between slides using links, but I think it's really useful. You know, I used to only put like dialogues and stuff on one slide and it got really crowded really quickly. So in this video, I wanna show you a PowerPoint where I designed it with links so that you can jump around to different slides and it's just a different idea for you guys to see if you guys are designing PowerPoints, how you can make it so that you, know, you can really facilitate speaking you know, in a really clean way. So there's not that much on each slide. It's very visual. It's colorful and nice and you know it's just a great way to in my opinion design a lesson that is really designed to get the kids to speak and everything like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you'd like to actually power um to purchase this powerpoint yourself just click the link in the video description below and you can download it um, or you can go to my Taobao store and you can find it there as always if you enjoy this please smash the like button it really helps out my channel Subscribe if you're not already and leave a comment below if you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you and let's get right into the run-through. All right, let's have a look at this PowerPoint. So this is a run-through, so I'm not going to go through an extreme detail about how to teach every single slide. Um, I just My main goal is here is to show people the PowerPoint so they can design the PowerPoint on their own if they like. And also for those of you who do want to purchase this PowerPoint, you can see the entire product. You know exactly what you're getting. Um, this PowerPoint is designed a little bit differently than my normal PowerPoints, so I will sh at that point I will show and explain some things just so people can see you know how I'm designing it. So if they do purchase it, it's not super confusing. So obviously we're teaching um, the past tense here. I really want my grade fives and grade sixes to get used to speaking in the past tense. So there's a quick game here. They just need to say the past tense of these verbs. So they you know, obviously raise their hand and they can choose which one they want and they can get points. So it's pretty straightforward. I did something similar to this the first uh, class of last semester um, because you know I really want to see what their level is. I want to see what they know. So it's fun and they get points. So and yeah, that's pretty basic. All right, and then the next part, we are learning the new words and this is the Chinese New Year. And I also tell them they can use, they can use both, the Chinese New Year or the Spring Festival. And then we are teaching the present tense and the past tense for all for everything here. So they know each one of each one of them in the present and past tense. And then on each slide there is a a dialogue link here. So they click it and it takes them to the dialogue slide. And during the lesson, after I teach the vocabulary and they write it down, I will have them practice for like 30 seconds. I'll have a few kids answer the question here. Um, you know, how many red packets did you get? I got you know, five red packets. And if they want, they can tell me how much money they got. All right, and then at the beginning of the lesson here, you, all you need to do is click here to go back to the original to the slide we were just at. The other links will be used later in the lesson. Okay, these other two links. All right, so on to the next one, rinse and repeat, same thing. So learning the new words, they write them down in their notebook. They know to write it down because there's a notebook here. Go here and allow them to practice. Okay, and then go back and roll on. Same, same, same drill. Um, write it down, drill it, and then allow them to talk. Who did you put up New Year's couplets with? Excuse me, couplets with, and they can practice for a minute. And because we're gonna play a game at the end, I want them to be familiar with this. And this lesson, obviously, all of my lessons are designed as speaking lessons. Speaking, listening lessons is the primary thing I'm teaching. So. This lesson's obviously really designed to get them to talk, get them to interact with me. So what is your hometown? My hometown is, they say their hometown, and then I say, where is your hometown? And they tell me which province it's in, okay? This is a new word for grade five. All right, then, um, you know, visit my relatives, same thing. Click it, takes them to the next slide. They can speak a little bit. And yeah, each one is like this. Each one has a, a dialogue click. They can practice. You can ask a kid on each team for their answer, uh, or you could ask the first two teams for the first one, and then the next two teams for the next one. So they all have a, each team has a chance to answer. You can give them points and everything like that. Okay, Spring Festival Gala, uh, stayed in Nanjing. Well, if you purchase this PowerPoint, obviously you can change this to whatever city you're in. 
you know, Shanghai, Shenzhen, whatever you want, and change the picture. This is a picture of the Nanjing City Wall, famous site in Nanjing. You can change this to like a famous picture from whatever city you're in if you do decide to purchase this PowerPoint. All right, let's say them again. So they have their notebook, they wrote everything down. Now we're just gonna say everything one more time using the past tense of the verbs, okay? So here's all eight of them with the past tense. And really this lesson is focusing on the past tense because the past tense is something that they, at least in China, they begin learning grade five in the public school. So it's great practice for them to start learning to practice this in your class as well, okay? And then we're gonna play the mystery box speaking game, which is essentially the second half of the lesson. Like the last 15 or 20 minutes, you can play this game. It's a speaking activity, but it's a game because they can choose a mystery box. Okay, so here's the way it works. You'll choose one of the students from one of the teams and the whole class will say, how was your Chinese New Year? And they can choose. It was good, it was great, it was amazing. I tell my students they can use other adjectives to describe it if they want. They don't have to use these three. And then they, then we, then the whole class says, what did you do? Okay, you just click this button and it changes the question. What did you do? And they choose one of the eight things they just that we just learned, okay? So they can say, I okay return to my hometown this Chinese New Year. And again, they can be holding their notebook, you know. If it's difficult, they can look down and, and, and read it off. You click on that picture and it takes you to the same slide they used before to practice the language. So the class will ask, what is your hometown? They say my hometown is, and they say the name of it. And then you click one more, where is your hometown? And they say which province it's in. And just, just so you know, if you made a mistake or it went to the wrong slide, you just click this and it takes you back to the original um, screen here, okay? So just in case you can go back. And then after the answer, you click on this box, which takes them to the mystery box screen. And you ask the kid, the student, uh, you know, choose a mystery box. So they choose. So I have row one, two, and three. They can say one, 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 two, one, three, or one, four, two, one, two, 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 three, two, four, and et cetera. And they choose. So let's say that the student says, I want one, two, all right, this slide, this uh, mystery box. And you say, do you want to keep or give? And if they decide to keep, whatever's behind there, their team will keep. Um, if they decide to give, you have to ask them, well, which team do you want to give it to? My class is four teams, so they need to choose which of the other teams they want to give it to. Because it could be negative, okay? It could be a negative number or a positive number, they don't know. But if they think maybe it's a negative number, they want to give it to another team, okay? Let's say they decide to keep, okay? You click it, plus three, that team gets three points. Their team gets three points, okay? And then you rinse and repeat with the next team. So you ask the next student. You just click back to change the question. Uh, how was your Chinese New Year? And this team says, oh, it was, or this student says, it was amazing. And you say, okay, what did you do? They say, oh, I went traveling. So you click on went traveling, takes you to this slide. Uh, the class asks them, where did you go traveling? Again, we're focusing on the past tense. Where did you go traveling? They say, I went traveling to Shanghai with my cousin, okay? Good job, click on the mystery box, and you say, which mystery box do you want? And they choose one, okay? They choose, they say, I want three, three. And you say, do you want to keep or give? You can have a whole class ask the question. And they say, I want to give. You say, which team? And they say, I want to give to team four. So you click it, okay? That means team four gets two points, okay? So the, the student who said that will be like, no, okay, and team four is like, yeah. All right, then click here to go back. And same thing with the next group, next team comes up, next student. Uh, the whole class says, how was your Chinese New Year? They say, it was amazing. And you say, what did you do? And they say, I got some red packets um, this Chinese New Year. And you click on the red packets and you say, how many red packets did you get? Again, past tense, did you get? They say, I got 10 red packets. If they wanna tell you how much they got, they can. I always tell my students they don't have to tell me. And sorry about the ambulance in the background. And then you click on the mystery box and this team can again choose. So that student will choose a mystery box and decide if they wanna keep or give. Let's say they decide to give. So they say, I want two, four. And they say give. They say they want to give it to team one. You click it. Oh no, minus four. This means team one will lose four points. So the student who chose that, their team is cheering and team one is like, oh, okay. And rinse and repeat, okay, until you know you think it's enough. I generally let my, my each team go twice. So um, there's plenty of, like if you look here, there's plenty of mystery boxes. Um, your, your class might have more than four teams. That's why I have more than 
Um, you know, I have enough mystery boxes here. But generally, I let them go two times each, so there would still be four remaining mystery boxes um, in my class, okay? And then and you can see like where I put the, the, the positives and negatives. You can change this very easily, you know, just move them to the side if you download this PowerPoint and you can just change the numbers very, very easily. Um, if you wanna create this on your own, it's quite easy. Uh, you can leave a comment below and I can give you a quick description of how to do it if you like. And then, yeah, afterward, I have a little bit of writing activity. This is homework in my class, but I think it's a good idea, you guys, if you guys don't do this with your class, to do it sometimes with grade five and six or even grade four. So I make them write and answer the questions, and I really emphasize them the past tense. I really want them to use the past tense, okay? So for example, for some of this, like for number four, it says, who did you put up New Year's couplets with? If you tell them, if they didn't put New Year's up New Year's couplets, um, they can just say, I did not put up New Year's couplets this year. But I want them to write the full sentence. I want them to get used to using the past tense. This lesson is about the past tense and you know, getting a chance to speak and get used to it, okay? And yeah, that's the end of the lesson. Um, I hope it was useful for you and yeah. All right, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I really hope you found that useful. I hope you thought the idea of using links to jump between different slides was something new and something maybe you wanna use in your own lessons in the future. Uh, it's really easy to do. If you have any questions about it, just leave a comment. Um, below and I will get back to you as quick as I possibly can. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to download that lesson, don't forget, just go to the video description below, click that link, or you can go to my Taobao store and you can find it there. And in the video description below, you'll see lots of different lessons. I have dozens and dozens of PowerPoints now, um, which are available for download. And you can browse my channel and see if there's any other lessons that you're interested in um, for your own class. So. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please smash the like button if you wouldn't mind. It really helped me out. Subscribe to this channel if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.